So the next race we will have will be the men's C2 500 meter final. In this race, only nine boats actually started across the two heats, so all of them have made this final. So I expect we could see rather a stretched out, drawn out final in this 500 meter race. And uh, double canoe boat racing is a whole different kettle of fish, isn't it, Jess, with a paddler paddling on each side? Yeah, they, um, I didn't know this before, but sometimes you have paddlers paddling on the same side. Um, so I think the aim is most teams, they try and have them on a paddler on each side, but sometimes they can be on both sides. So I'm not sure how that works, but something to do with the, the steering. But um, yeah, I think... I don't know about in this race, but there might be some different combinations. Well, in lane one, we have Kazakhstan. That's Viktor Stepanov and Vladimir Petrov. Alongside them in lane two, that's the Ukrainian pairing of Dmitry Yanchuk and Taras Mishuk. Olympic bronze medalists in the C2000 at Rio 2016. Under 23 world champions in the C2000 back in 2015 been paddling together a long time. They've got a lot of races under their belts. And in lane three, that's Poland's Mateusz Kaminski and Michał Kudwa. They won gold at the World Cup in Zeged last year, looking for the medals again. In lane four, that's China's Wang Hao and Li Chang. Wang Hao raced in the C1000 less than an hour ago, so We've had a quick recovery, quick turnaround. Second Chinese crew in this men's C2 500 meter final. That's uh, Liu Hao and Zheng Pengfei. Really seen the uh, depth that uh, China has in the C1, C2 department across men and women so far in today's racing. In lane six, that's Poland's Arcelin. Shlevinsky and Michal Marek Lubniewski, bronze medalists at last year's World Championships. Certainly very much contenders for the medals today. In lane, eight, in lane seven is Ukraine. In lane eight, that's Germany's Tim Hecker and Moritz Adam. And there in lane seven is Yuri Vandyuk and Andriy Rybachuk of Ukraine. Under 23 European champions and world silver medalists all the way back in 2014. So we've got plenty of time in a boat together and they're underway. Really, really powerful start across the board. It's fantastically close. But in the early stages, you can see that it's just the Polish crew of Shlevinsky and Lubniewski who have got out to an early start. It's China's ha uh, Liu and Zheng who also get away quickly, not letting that Polish crew get too much of a lead. And Ukraine with that really high stroke rate in lane seven in the red boat with the yellow vests there up there as well. Watch the Ukrainian pair out in lane two as well, Janszuk and Mishuk, but still with Poland in lane six. Silver medalists in the C2 200 at last year's World Championships. Also making an impression here in the C2 500 metres. And Poland now slipping back as the Ukrainian pair of Vandyuk and Rybachuk moves into the lead. They're through the 200 metre mark now. 200 metres to go. Really, really powerful race here from the two Chinese crews out in the middle as well. That's Liu and Sheng of China in lane five. Such a close race now. It's Yanshuk and Mischuk of Ukraine. They're out in lane two, really putting their names down for a medal as well. Less than 100 metres left to go. The Polish crew are coming back at it now. Can they finish within the medals? It is China, though, who look like they have the lead by half a boat length, heading in to the last 50 metres. Can they hang on and take that gold medal? They can. It's China, followed by Poland, with Ukraine in the bronze medal. And the, the
the lead there just changed so often in that race, Jess. That was such an unpredictable, uh, unpredictable race. It was a really good race again, and I think um, the, the China are showing how strong they are at this event in the um, sea boats. They have a lot of depth in there. They've got two really good C2s. Um, and it's interesting seeing all the different techniques as well. I thought the, um, that the Polish looked really just relaxed and smooth, and then they were coming through. And there you have in lane two those Olympic bronze medalists. And took a look at bronze here today. And there's the Chinese crew, the winners, Liu Hao and Zheng Pengfei of China, who took the, the gold medal with a lunge towards the line. Just inches ahead of Poland's Arsen Szlewinski and Michał Marek Lubniewski. Really high octane race as China's view punches the air, having taken the gold medal. He raced with uh, Wang Hao last year and won bronze at Duisburg World Cup in the C2500 and the C2000. This time it's gold, half a second separating China and Poland in this.